Okay. Where are we today and why are we doing this? We are in Natchez, Mississippi at Pearl. Yep. Where... I can't say that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to say it. I can't we're, sit in We're in the chair. weirdest chairs ever. I know. There, but that's better. Is I'm that gonna better? pinch myself. Yes, there we go. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to wiggle. on the world's tightest time crunch because we have two weeks to finish this house and in two weeks we have to finish the kitchen two bathrooms and a bedroom yep and all the little punch list items yes but we're gonna put a video out for you anyway because we love you yes but so you will not see pearl probably we probably will do a kitchen before and after reveal for you and then a full reveal for you so it's gonna be just a couple more weeks you know what though i've decided no, but we have After to start this over process, the video. No, oh, no. no. Okay. I've decided that never, ever again, never, ever again will I sell a house before we're finished with it. It just complicates things. It's, it makes it harder. It's nothing to do with the people who bought it. No. It's just... Could have been anybody. We are accustomed to doing this at our own pace for our own pleasure. It's kind of a hobby. It's more of a hobby. It's fun. We enjoy it. And then, then we decide, once we're done, we decide what we're going to do with the house. Right. Yeah. We've always done it that way. That is, we do not flip houses. People ask us all the time, do you no. flip houses? Oh, you're flipping. No, 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 we're no, not. No. And this is why, because having someone else that we're having to like stay on their time frame is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Not, and not really. Again, but, they've been super, super easy and not given us that hard has nothing time frames. to do with them. It's just, you know, we've been nothing like, to do with them at all. It's mostly been, okay, I think we can have it done by this. Yeah. And then of course everything goes wrong. Right. Here, here lately, it's like, Everything. Everything. Every light fixture we've Nothing. opened has been broken. Every sink has Every been broken. Every sink has been broken. Every, uh, There's a joist in the way of all the plumbing and, that we were needing to put in. Yes, and I, exactly. Every drain. And I also, the the name of our show should be, where did I put that thing? Where did I put that thing? <laughs> where did I put that and, thing? And I also look like this. Me? Yeah, this is why he's dirty. Because we just don't have uh, time. So the video is going to be Kevin's top 10 worst hairdos of all time. <laughs> Number one. No, 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 you can't see but it. But we are it's going to share with you. We've decided that, so we've been doing home restoration for what, 20? Five? Five years now? 24, 24 years. 24 years. And so we started way before anybody cared or was documenting. Like we don't even have before and after pictures of some of our earliest projects. No, and back then too, it was like you took a picture and then you took it, your film to the place. Yeah, I think we had like some <laughs> yeah. paper photographs. Uh, yeah, and I've got some photos of some photos. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> They're terrible. And so that, you know, and then uh, when we videoed, we were like. <laughs> yeah. So. Even that was only how many years ago? Four, five years five ago. Five or six we, years ago that we were even like. Let's take a couple pictures. Let's video. We're going to subject you to a little bit of it today. We are. But we wanted to show a complete before and after of one of our favorite projects we've ever done. So you can see, A, that we really have been doing this for a long time, and B, that we really do finish projects regularly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is one that we sold because it was too far away. And we regret it. We every will regret day. it for the rest of uh, our we lives. We don't. And we do every day. Oh, no, we do. We do. It was beautiful house. It came together so well. Design was on point. Location. Perfect. 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 Big lot. Three, actually three lots in a place where you can't get no. space. 1888 house. So And it was 13 and a half hours away from home. Yeah. We really decided to sell the house when my dad had a heart attack. That's and true. we were like, we can't be 13 hours from home. And that just were 445. We're four hours, 45 minutes, five hours from home. That's a pretty quick trip home. Depending on how many speeding tickets I get exactly. on the way but in, but in Florida, it was too far. So we sold it, but we're going to walk you through what we bought, how we found her, how we did the restoration, and then what she looked like when we were done today. Right. So let's tell the story. Okay. Uh, we actually went on a buying trip. We wanted to buy a house in Florida. We did. And yeah. so we picked out how many cities? Four, three or four, four cities. cities that we were going to. We were going to go hit old cities with great old houses. We thought, and we'd never been to any of them, no. I don't think. <laughs> so so we, we're going to go. We're going to hit all those cities. We're going to look at houses and maybe we'll buy one. Yeah. 
And the first one we went to, pretty good. Remember that one? It, very good. Very, I liked it, uh, Defuniac Springs. I loved it. At the time, Kevin had not embraced small town living yet. It was very small, it though, was wasn't it? it? I don't was know tiny. how close the closest bigger town was. I think Tallahassee was the closest bigger um, town, about an hour away. Yeah, so, I mean, it was like, wasn't it like a thousand or two thousand? No, I mean, it was a little small. bit bigger, but it, that was before we'd done Cave Spring or Louisville yeah, Spring or tiny. any of the other like really small towns that we've done. And that was before you got used to the idea of super small town living. Right. It was. So, so we. Went it was on. a little small for me, and we went on, and the next stop was uh, Fernandina Beach, which is on Amelia Island, Florida. Yes. And it wasn't, didn't take long for us did to go, we, wow. Did we go any further? We didn't. No, we actually <laughs> didn't, did we? We were <laughs> no. going to go down to... DeLand, DeLand. and That's what Sanford for the other two that we were going to look at. Yes. And we just and never we've made actually it any further. we've been to Sanford, and it's wonderful. We went to DeLand and Sanford we, later. Have, have we yeah. been to DeLand? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and those are great cities too, but we got to Amelia Island, Florida and thought, oh my goodness, it's paradise. They've got a great downtown. They've got a fort. They have a fort. Wonderful beaches. That have what on them, Kevin? Shark's teeth. Like a lot of shark's teeth. And I don't relax well. No. So when we go to the beach, as soon as we sit down, I'm up. Yeah. And I need to comb the beach and look for something and have a mission. Yeah. And there I can look for sharks too. And, it's and she's right there with me. She acts the like world. she wants to relax and read a book. But well, she's but what if you yeah. I have FOMO at the beach, right? Yeah. What if what if what if there's something great yeah. right there and yeah. I've missed it? Well there is. So yeah. No, yeah. I'm right there with you. So I we, try we don't to relax. sit on the beach very well. We walk up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. So yes. Uh and it had so that city had everything. And this city has, has everything. everything. So we started looking at houses. Mm -hmm. And we, that trip, we didn't find anything. Um, and we went back home and we kept watching, you know, Zillow and watching Realtor. And there was a little house that came up for sale. Do you remember? It was $69,000. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's the one oh, that I called I do, about. on the park, right? Yeah. Okay. At $69,000. And I called about that one. And the Realtor said, you don't want that house. Like it was his listing. And he said, you don't want that house. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want that house. And I was like, but why? And he was like, you just don't want that house. But he said, I'll keep my eye out for you. Yeah, I will find you something. And usually when a realtor says that, you never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. What was it? Three days later? I think that was like a... I, I don't I know remember I talked this to him. as well as you do, so you'll have to tell I me. talked to him on Sunday night because he was on his way to church. And he was like, I'll call you back after. And he called me back after church. And then Wednesday, they had their realtor meeting that morning. And he called us that afternoon and said, hey, there's this house coming up in Old Town, Fernandina, which at the time... Nobody wanted to buy an old town. We yeah. had looked with another realtor and the other realtor had told us, oh, you don't even want to go out there. Oh, so Old Town for Indiana Beach, there is, if you go to visit there, there's there's the tourist area that's the downtown and the, all the Victorian houses. That was actually, Bernadita Beach was picked up and moved in the late 1800s when they brought the railroad To accommodate there. the railroad. They couldn't get the it to where the town was. First, Bernadita Beach, Old Town, was platted in 1589. Is that right? Oh, I'm not, I don't By know. By the, the Spanish? Yeah, it's one of the, it's the earliest, the earliest platted. The earliest platted subdivision city in <laughs> Florida. And really, in the, is it in the U.S.? Maybe? I don't know, maybe. It's Here, so old. We're giving you facts, right? I think it's 1592. <laughs> Look it up. Google, anyway. Google. So it's, it was planted by the Spanish. All of the houses still sit on peones. They're not called lots. They're peones because that was the way that the Spanish, that was the word for lot in the Spanish um, cities. And the peones were, what, 45 feet across the front? 45 and we by had, 90, I think, is what they were. And so this house was originally listed with four peones. Including so, a corner lot. Including a corner lot. So we made an offer immediately for the house and the lot. And they wouldn't sell it to us. Do you remember that? Because we hadn't Barely. come to look at it. Uh, really? Yes. They wouldn't sell it to us because we had, we made a site off for sight unseen. And the family said, no, you can't buy it so because you haven't come to see it. Second time that's happened. I'm like, we're just trying to buy the house. And they were like, it's in really They're, bad shape. And we don't want you to be surprised. Yeah. And they were like, we know. They just know it's going to fall through because when we do see it, oh, it's not perfect. So we got, we drive down there to look at it. We're like, yeah, we want it. Well, in the meantime, they'd sold off the corner lot. And that, so then we made an offer for the house in the three lots, and, and they ended up making less money than they would have made if they had sold us initially the house in the four lots altogether. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not still salty about that five years <laughs> later, six years later. I am. I yeah. absolutely am. And then somebody had that corner lot and sat on it forever and never I don't built think it. I don't think it's been built on it to this day. Uh, probably not. Uh, but it was an 1888 home that was one of the five 
original captain's houses built in Old Town. And Old Town also has a pretty famous house. Yes, yeah, a very famous That was house. just around the corner. The Pippi Longstocking house is what yeah. we called it anyway. Yeah. That was in the movie Pippi Longstocking they from, what was that, 50s movie, or no, 70s? 70s. 70s. They filmed Pippi Long, Longstocking in Fernandina Beach. The ice cream parlor was actually the oldest saloon in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's still just a saloon. Um, they used mashed potatoes for the ice cream because the ice cream melted too quickly for the ice cream fight in the street. But her house, what is it? Beluka. It's actually called um, oh. Beluka. Oh, this is bad. We, we have long. no facts. I know. But it was just right around the corner from, from the house that we bought. Beautiful. And the there was a, a square that had been the Spanish fort and the fabulous thing for me. Not that it wasn't all fabulous. Yeah. So the land was just riddled with history. That in of itself made it worth buying for me. So we finally get to buy the house. We finally buy her. And she is an absolute <laughs> disaster. A mess. And not only neglected for many years uh, with holes in the roof, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, but also uh, redesigned in the 80s or so and badly Yes. Badly, so it was a, badly it was, configured. It was a combination of the two worst case scenarios. Complete neglect on one hand and bad redesign, bad remodeling on the other. So, and they like had never even finished the remodeling that they'd started in the 80s. Remember the kitchen was like yes, yeah, was half remodeled half done, in so. the 80s? So we closed on my birthday. Do you remember that? No, we closed really? on my birthday and right, we happy went birthday. over, I know, right? We went over to see the house. It started pouring down rain. We went upstairs. We had to take umbrellas. To look at the upstairs. It was raining on our heads upstairs. Theater it shake shingle. Still had the shake shingle roof. What was left of the roof? What was shake left shingles. of the roof? It had how many holes? Two or three, I guess. Big holes. Uh, pretty big holes. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> awkward sitting ever. So, and there had been a raccoon. Do you remember that? There oh, had yeah. been a raccoon making his home there. Just, just living How long his had it, best life. Had it been unlived? Then? Not very. Long. That's what was weird about it. The owner had only passed years. away about three, two or three years before. It was one of the least abandoned properties that we lived in, <laughs> that we bought, and the family that lived out of town would come back in and stay the weekends in it. Mm. But it was kind of like they'd come camp out. So walking into the front room, there was the um, Whoville plant. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Like this this cacti, this succulent plant that ended up actually getting planted in the yard because it made it through everything. Yeah, it was a trooper. It was a trooper. Yes. Uh, the staircase was... Very nice. Magnificent. It and was basically the best condition. feature of the entire house. Great condition. Entryway had the world's most 1980s wallpaper on the walls. Oh, yeah. And holes all in the ceiling. I don't know if there'll be video of it. I know we have photos of the holes in the ceiling. There was basically no ceiling. So we walk in the front door, which was a beautiful front door, that gorgeous East Lake Spoon Car front door, to yeah. discover that there were no ceilings from the one bathroom upstairs leaking into the entryway ridiculous <laughs> and then there was 1980s wallpaper yes. that was so stuck to the walls i thought oh, i'll get this right off the wall mm -mm. no no you will not and then there was a little bitty closet under the stairs the woodwork was unpainted as you will see but it was in horrible shape the first of all it had been attacked by a stapler at some point and i still can't figure out what they had done but every piece of wood in that house was full of ten thousand staples so I really don't know what, what had happened. Who knows? But the mystery. bigger problem was that the house had been attacked by termites. And so all of the woodwork, all of the backside of the trim was just basically paper. <laughs> so to save the woodwork, we had to do a lot of filling, which then ended up doing, we, we painted the woodwork. I know you're going to scream at us. It was that or replaced at that point. It was so bad. And it looked beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. So then there was the living room, which had a had the original gorgeous cast iron mantle that had originally been painted. In some light, you could see the fact that it had an aesthetic movement paint on it originally, but that was long gone. It was filthy. It had been, it was rusty. It was nasty. The living room was disgusting. So off the living room, there was a door and there was a, then a door off of the, entry wait, room. no, there was no door off the entry room when we first bought it. There was just a door off the living room into a, what probably originally would have been a dining room, but they were using it kind of as a family room. And then there was a door off the entryway into that same room. And then they had busted out a huge wall that was a load-bearing wall and done an open concept kitchen. 
but it was so they, bad. It was terrible, and they uh, didn't even finish it. So you did not enter the kitchen from the front of the, the entryway at all at that point. The entryway was closed off, I think. <laughs> We're going to see in the video. And then behind what was that secondary space, there was an open breezeway into what was the original kitchen. Right. And he was... was he was using as a workshop kind of storage shed. The shed washer and dryer were out there at the time. Yeah, and it had great beadboard. Yeah, we'll say that for right now. Then upstairs, <laughs> go upstairs, and there was the Hello Bordello bathroom. <laughs> it was the bordello bathroom. It had a fire engine red closet tub and a fire engine red sink. Remember? I just remember the walls were blue. And the... Tub and was the red. Tub was bright. I mean, it was like, what was he doing in this house? The only bathroom. Only bathroom. I think he was taking the leftovers because he was a he was a commercial contractor. contractor. Yeah. So I don't know if he was taking leftovers or finding stuff and putting it I in there. Know. I don't. I really don't know. Then, then on the right side of the hall, there was one enormous, enormous bedroom. room, like enormous, gigantic bedroom. And then one other room at the end of the hall. And that was it. That was it. That was it. And Very, oh, and bamboo flooring. Glue down bamboo oh, flooring. Oh, glued down so bad. <sighs> and it was so, it was basically two bedroom, one bath. With holes in the roof. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. So yeah. we got started. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long way to go. That was a journey. Now, the, one of the reasons I talked about Pearl at the beginning of this video and why we'll never sell another one. We like to take our time, but this house ended up taking way more time than we had anticipated, right? right? About two years. Did it take two years? I, I was going to say a year years. and a half. Maybe a year and a half. It took yeah. a long time. We had a long way to go, though. Plus, that one we did like full landscaping, beautiful landscaping. so good. I know, some of the prettiest landscaping. And the climate there grew that stuff oh. so well. To do this house, we got one of the loans that Lane is always talking about. Tell them real quick about the, the loan. 203K FHA loan. It is a loan where you are loaned based on what the appraised value of the house will be once your work is completed. And it's good for us, very regulated by FHA. Like you have an FHA um, project manager and mm -hmm. you have to get a full quote before you start the project from your contractor. And the contractor cannot exceed that quote. If he goes over yeah. budget, it's on him. And but but you have to use good. a contractor, which yes. we normally are our own contractors. We do a ton of the work ourselves. But we're not licensed but, in the state of Florida, so right. we couldn't so be we our own contractor had, there. To get the loan, we had to get a contractor, which we will never do that again. We will never do that again. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some are better than others, and some are great out there. And I know some of you probably love historic homes. This guy didn't really get it. Didn't get homes. it. Didn't get it. Didn't respect it. Had Oh, it was a journey. So we were at his mercy in a lot of ways, which caused some problems. Uh, but there's always going to be problems. Yeah. Um, now, so the first thing we did was start reimagining the space a little bit because they had already busted up some of the space. Yeah. We need to fix some of those problems. One of the major issues with any old house is you need a powder room, right? You don't want company using your main bathroom. And then for us, one of the main issues is Kevin needs a downstairs bedroom. He got broke leg. <laughs> he he needs, prefers a he downstairs needs bedroom. Magic legs, Lieutenant Diane. For sure. Uh, and so we we would love to have a downstairs uh, bathroom and main, the powder room. main suite. Yes. So we took that tiny closet under the stairs and we made the cutest little powder room. Our contractor did not believe we could do it. We borrowed what had been the pantry out of the kitchen and the little closet under the stairs and created a little powder room with a little potty and a little corner sink. A little tiny corner sink and, and it, it worked so perfectly. it was so cute. It was darling. And that's where we kept, we had a lot of original photos of the house and letters from the family. So when you open the door, what you saw was actually, it looked like a gallery wall right. of the history, all the history of the house. So it made it like a cute space under the stairs that didn't like go, <laughs> <laughs> then we opened up, we put a doorway from the entryway into the kitchen space and we completely redesigned that kitchen space. And we put that retaining wall, that load bearing wall back up back between up. those two To divide spaces. those spaces. And 
there was that, but there was that breezeway at the back. That was just this weird rain and stuff. Oh, and there had been, I had started putting a bathroom in. Do you remember? Oh, in the little there corner was like there a little for corner some reason. With I... a toilet, but it didn't work and it wasn't connected to it anything. It was kind of an outside bathroom, really. Yeah. It was like if you'd gone to the beach and you came back and you wanted to go to the bathroom. Because right. it, it had no inside door. No. And there was a little shower out there, too. So I guess that was all kind of outside beach space. I guess. Um, so we enclosed that breezeway, took that weird little potty room out, and made that a breakfast room. So you had beautiful kitchen, breakfast room, and then your patio living space. So your front, your front right side of the house was formal entry with your gorgeous staircase rising, little potty closet, kitchen, breakfast room. Gorgeous. Love that space. Gorgeous. Then to the left, we had the main living space and that great bay window that had mm. been leaking. So the ceiling of the bay window when we bought the house was on the floor. Got that all fixed up. Beautiful. And we closed off the weird door from the living room to that secondary space. Right. And then had this beautiful living space full of so much light. Oh, it was beautiful. Unfortunately, he had replaced all of the windows. With, with vinyl good aluminum windows, window. Aluminum windows. And we never got around to changing those out. Well, that's just a, once that's been done, Man, it is obscenely, mess. obscenely expensive to undo oh. it. Because you have to have them custom made. All of those window sashes are individual. Like for today, we tried to go find a window for Pearl, a replacement window, um, with an old window, old window, because she's got one that's pretty badly rotted. They're all custom made to fit the frame. So the just sashes, so you just... Finding the size you need is impossible. So we did make the decision to leave those windows. They were approximations of what had been there so they weren't terrible yeah they weren't great but they weren't terrible but anyway i just wanted to get that out of the way in case anybody asks <laughs> i'm sorry so then we did the main suite behind the living room so when you entered the entryway you had three doors you had the living room the main suite and the kitchen so we took that living space turned it into a gorgeous main suite then we enclosed the breezeway there yeah, breezeway was mudroom because there was a gorgeous, there's a side porch that historically had never had an entrance on that side. So we couldn't, you couldn't, obviously we didn't want to and couldn't put a doorway into one of the main living spaces. So you, we put a little porch in a mudroom that you could access this yeah. gorgeous porch from pretty easily. Yeah, the porch, when do you think they added that porch? 1919. Was... We know when they added okay. it. 1919. So it wasn't original. They it added didn't really like... fit the style. No, but... it's a neoclassical porch on a on <laughs> um, a Queen Anne home. It's, it's just, it was so funny. So yeah, it looked out of character for it sure. It was wonderful. But it was oh wonderful. my gosh, it was great. So we, uh, yeah. And then we put, and then behind that in what had been the original kitchen, we put in the main bathroom. Do you want to tell them what happened with the main bathroom while we were doing this? Yes, we said it had great beadboard. We said save the Ceilings beadboard. Ceilings and walls were original beadboard. We want to keep all of the beadboard. Told our contractor over that specifically over. keep it. So many times. We even had a, we had, when we would leave, we would have written lists of things. And on the top of every list, I remember typing it, typing it, typing it. Do not remove the beadboard. We came back to check on progress one day. And what did we discover? It had been totally gutted. They took all of it out, threw it in the dumpster, and, and the dumped dumpster the was dumpster. Gone, so we couldn't even pull it out. Yeah. That was, that was a bad day. That was a really bad day because... One of the one of the few things that was in pretty good shape when we bought the house was the beadboard, and we were so excited to have walls and ceilings because in Florida, old Florida Victorian homes, so many of them, the walls and ceilings were all beadboard. So it was the one room that really retained a lot of its feel, mm -hmm. and then it was gone. And then it was gone. So then we had to build it back. Um, the space turned out wonderful, though. I thought it was beautiful. I loved it. Used some old with some new vintage lighting, all vintage lighting uh, from an old gas station. Yeah, it great. pulled it down from Arkansas, didn't we? Yeah, it turned out just a great space, fantastic. Use uh, utilize pocket doors a lot because when you get into those strange spaces where you're trying to make weird angles work, uh, pocket doors can come in very handy. So Absolutely. I think in that space we had three pocket doors to slide. Yeah, yeah, we had the closet or the pocket door, and then the Potty room was a pocket door, and then one of the other little closets was a pocket door. But it was, man, it was perfect space. All right, you ready to go upstairs? I'm so ready. Let's do <laughs> it. So the gorgeous staircase 
can go up the gorgeous staircase. But should we talk about what happened uh, to the gorgeous well. staircase while we it were had working this on the beautiful house? Beautiful turn right at the top. Delicious. Some whoever bozo was working there fell through Busted the most places. complicated bend in the staircase. It, it came out and then did this and then down and fell through and busted that bend. And who did it, Kevin? Nobody. Nobody. It must have been a ghost, I guess. Nobody. Called the contractor. Why is our irreplaceable banister busted up? I don't know. I don't know. You, yeah, your guys didn't do did it. it. No, nobody did it. You didn't You didn't see it. Splinter. No, no. no. Nobody did it. Okay. No. Didn't no. happen then, I guess. Didn't happen. Magic. So. Magic banister busting. Add that. You always love adding something huge like huge. that to an already huge list. Yes. Uh, anyway. We didn't even talk about the hurricane. Oh my the goodness. first week that we owned the house. Let's talk about that before we go upstairs. Okay. Because that's big. All right. We picked, one of the reasons we picked Fernandina Beach <laughs> was because they had not had a hurricane since 1889. Last hurricane. A year after the house was built. Yes. So we bought the house. The first thing we did was take the roof off of it to put a brand new roof on. And what happened, Kevin? Hurricane. Hurricane Matthew. <laughs> and we were in New York for work. And I got to sit. On a couch, watch the hurricane blow through, and we just hoped and prayed that the, the house, house was not gone. would not get flooded while we were gone. Uh, and it was a hurt. It was like a stage four or what? A category, category four, four or five? I don't know. And it was headed right toward Fernandina Beach. We could not believe it. We're watching the news, going, "No, this can't be happening." And we were actually. It was funny because we were there for work, but we were staying with your brother and sister in law. And I remember your sister in law saying, "You're handling this really well. You're so calm." And I was like. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What? What? what I mean, what? What? Could, what can I do? Uh, Nothing. I literally can't do anything right now. So. But fortunately, by the time I think it got to Fernandina Beach, it had dropped to a three well, and it kind or of went a above. two. And it had dropped in intensity and kind of got a little bit above. So we so. we had no roof. We did have decking. Yeah. Uh, which was, I mean, be honest, probably more secure than. Oh, the, I'm sure. The shake shingles. Had there been were no holes for 120 years. Uh, and it weathered it fine. We lost the mailbox. The mailbox and the, the, the weather vane kind of got, and it got bent a little bit. Our we, cute we fixed weather that. Oh, I love our sailboat weather vane. Yeah, yes. that was wonderful. So that was that was the yeah. first week we owned the house. Testing you, he's testing us. Man, we were like, maybe maybe this is the universe <laughs> telling us we shouldn't have bought a house in Florida. Uh, but it made it through. So yeah. I guess the universe said, okay, you're fine. fine. You're good. You're fine. Uh, so then upstairs. Now upstairs we've got uh, the beautiful flooring. bathroom. And the two bedrooms. And all of it has glue down bamboo flooring. I'm going to say it again just because yeah. we can't stress that, enough how much work Wasn't it you just did. on that one side? No, it was the, it was all well, the hall. Actually, the, the whole... very first thing we did after we walked in with our umbrellas was we started popping up that bamboo <laughs> To see floor. if there was wood underneath it because we didn't know. Yes, yeah. And there was, but it was all glued down, we found out. So uh, we decided to take that huge space and divide that into two bedrooms with a closet on two both sides. Big closets, and we did. And they were they were nice sized bedrooms, what? really good sized bedrooms. So now we've got three bedrooms upstairs. <laughs> Was a good size. It was it was a goodly size. A goodly size, for but it company. was a weird shape. So that presented some challenges because it was right in the super. It was remember it was super tall where the toilet was. It was like twelve feet tall over the oh, toilet right. where you wanted the light fixture to hang. But then where you wanted the shower was like super <laughs> sloped like yes. this. Yeah, and we, in fact we had to build the, the shower, the glass back into the wall. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, you made some beautiful design choices. I, I love the design choices you made in there, especially your like angled shelf that Thank you God. did uh, was beautiful. And the little tiny sinks that hung on the wall. Yeah, those were gorgeous and had a great room in there and a great yeah. shower. So uh, we've got now we've got four bedrooms and two and a half baths, and what was two bedrooms, one, one bath. bath. <laughs> And all good size spaces, like yeah, great exactly. size spaces that were. The whole house was, what oh, was it? How many square feet? 2,500? No, it was a little. It was like 1,800 square feet. It was a little. Really? Yeah, I'm not going to pull it up right now. Hold we on, maximized the space. I'm going to tell you, I'm 1,899 square feet. Wow. It was 1,899 only... square feet. I can't believe we got all that. And it was house. so 
it was the most livable house. Yeah. I think the most comfortable house we've well, ever here's, had. Here's part of it too. Had a, a beautiful deck on the back that needed repair, but was still good size. Fabulous. Wonderful living. Uh, in fact, we put a great table back there, and that was yeah. basically our dining. We did al fresco dining. Most of our main dining was done out there, which was so because comfortable. Because it was year round outside. Yeah, it's beautiful weather, so why not? Uh, then we had the side porch, which was fantastic oh. living too. Yeah, I know it's it's killing us it's to killing talk me. about this house. It's killing me. Uh, so, and you know, in Florida, you live outside as much as you do inside. So, yeah. fantastic spaces, and you know, and if you count that as square footage, you got a big house. Yeah, it was the most comfortable living house we've ever done and we fenced ever. the entire thing so that our doggos could be everywhere there were sand bars which was bad for the paws oh but, it was and we so kept oh we, we were fighting those we constantly would, uh, hook a flannel fleece blanket up to kevin's lawnmower and drive it around the yard drive it around and put boards <laughs> on the back or to like our fence oh, like a piece yeah. of fence to hold it down drive it around get all those burrs yep. we'd go get a little blanket at the, at the, the thrift shop at the thrift shop do that and then just throw it in the trash <laughs> It works because getting rid of sandbars in Florida oh, is man. almost impossible to do. Almost it's, impossible to do. It's really hard. You, so have to, you have to kill everything. It, the best thing to do was to just keep keep up keep on top with of them, them to mow yeah. regularly, and then if they bloomed, you just pull them up. Oh, so, uh, so uh, the other thing that we didn't really know ever consider about fern until somebody brought it to our attention was, oh, it's, it looks exactly like the house from up. It does. Only reversed. Mm -hmm. But like exactly the front of it is the same. Yeah. So the we windows, call it the up house. porch, everything. Yeah. Um, some, some kids, they were young newlyweds and he bought a lot out there and they were going to build a house. And he stopped by one day and he was like, my fiance calls this the up house. We love it so much. And we showed him around. We we're like looking at it going, oh, it, it is. is. Wow. <laughs> How about that? So that's uh, one of our loves that we miss dearly. And after lots of lots of design decisions in that house that we loved, lots of struggles to get it. Like we said, almost two years to completely redo it. It was a full restoration on this house. There was again not a, not a surface that we did not touch, top to bottom. We did get the banister repaired. We should say that. Oh yes, that we the banister was redone by a master woodworker and he we got to keep the original banister. And you could not even tell. Couldn't tell. And I, I still to this day don't know how he I did don't that either. because I don't either. When I say splintered, I mean Yeah. And it was just came out gorgeous. And it was stunning. So So thanks for suffering through this video. Uh, <laughs> as we reminisce about one of our favorite we, before and after and projects hopefully ever. You love Fern as much as we did. Um thanks for watching. And next week who knows what video comes. Hopefully you'll get an after of the kitchen. That's what I'm hoping. Yes. Comment below on what your favorite room in Fern was. Uh, what's your favorite room in Fern? Hang on. Let me think. Because I, I loved them all. This is difficult. But hang on. Hang on. Hang, hang on. on. This is where you need to be flipping because, through all the rooms. Like because you, choice. again, this is another one that you completely decorated. Designed. Obviously designed. I mean... But you picked out all the furniture, put in all the furniture, and when we sold it, we sold everything with it. Yeah, but she wanted everything like the night. We sold all of the furniture. Of the furniture right. I think the so, kitchen, because it was an unfitted kitchen. We used the vintage fridge. We had the leather granite. Oh, the, I think the kitchen. The, remember the wood we found for the... Oh, we had mahogany. Uh, reclaimed we mahogany. Found this reclaimed wood that we used for all of our shelves, yep. our open shelving. Yeah. Beautiful. I was going to say the main bathroom because I just thought it was so pretty. I think that was the first time we ever got on-demand water. Oh, uh, that was glorious. <laughs> on we could just stay water. in the shower forever for the uh, first time. Tankless <laughs> hot water heater. And it, and like after those hard days of working, we well, would take like an hour-long shower. I did, love the master, the, I did love the main bath too because it because we were so remote and there was nobody around us, I could slip into my cast iron bathtub and open the window next to me so I could get that like Breeze. fabulous ocean air coming in and soak in my hot tub. Oh, oh, it was right. glorious. One last story. Oh, okay. Before we go. Oh, <laughs> about the shower? Yes. Uh, so <laughs> we told you there was a uh, outside shower that you co used I coming from the beach and it was in the breezeway. So it was basically a garden hose sort of connected. Pretty much. To pretty much. It didn't outside. have hot water though, didn't it? I think we had hot water. Did we? I think we had a hot I don't know that we did. I think we did. I think we did. 
But okay. anyway, uh, so that was the only shower, and we would shower. We would hang a curtain <laughs> on both sides sheet. of the breezeway and, and shower outside. Out, outside, basically. Literally just outside. It was fun. Showering. The, the neighbors were not close, and we had... We were covered up. I there was, oh, do you remember the spider? So it was a spider. <laughs> it was out there. It was this creepy. So it was like trim around a window, and it was this creepy spider. And at night, all you would see were the big, nasty, long legs sticking out. I made Kevin put some duct tape over the hole. <laughs> we take them in. It was. It was. There were these Florida spiders. They make these like funnel webs, and then yeah. their little their legs just stick out of them. They're so creepy. And so I'm showering outside uh, in the fun. garden hose with Those the were sheets good times. and the spider legs. Yeah, it was fun. Those were it good was times. Really fun. If you ever get the chance, go and stay at Amelia Island. You'll love it there. It's beautiful. Yeah. And yes, we miss Fern, but that was Fern for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.